Brisbane is preparing for the arrival of some of the world's most powerful people today with more G20 leaders jetting in ahead of the weekend's meeting. Security has been ramped up with authorities patrolling the air, land and sea. Well, Becca, Operation Southern Cross, the massive security operation in Brisbane, entered a new phase overnight as those world leaders continue to arrive and protesters uh, arrive and their protests ramp up as well. We've got more barricades have gone up, streets are closed, bridges are closed and there are police absolutely everywhere. We've got more than a dozen landing today, including our own Prime Minister Abbott, David Cameron from the UK, uh, the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Canada's Prime Minister Stephen Harper and of course uh, President Vladimir Putin will also be arriving later this evening. So a very big day planned at the old international terminal out here and uh, we had some arrivals last night. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia came in as well as the Brazilian President, the Turkish Prime Minister and the uh, much anticipated beast, President Obama's car. Not one, but two of them, one of them acting as a decoy. This is what Operation Southern Cross looks like. They're putting up the final barricades out the front of the summit venue. Uh, as we've heard, all the, the roads are locked down, including the main bridge into town, the Victoria Bridge. Uh, that's where a lot of the motorcades uh, will come when leaders arrive at the summit tomorrow. Fifteen people have now been banned from coming to Brisbane for the summit, uh, including a, an, a veteran Australian-Irish campaigner who was actually jailed during the first Gulf War for helping disarm an American warplane.
Luis y Lupe. 